Hey, what's up guys? I'm Ding from Ding's Workshop. Last year, I had a family of birds nesting in the birdhouse I made. And I thought to myself, wouldn't it be nice to have a camera inside the birdhouse to see how the bird builds its nest and raise the young? And now I believe I have found the perfect solution. This is the third generation Wi-Fi bird box camera by Green Feathers. I really like the packaging. It is neatly compact and has a nature-friendly feel to it. Even the user's manual is printed using recycled paper. The default power adapter is UK style, but when you make the purchase, you can select the power supply style suitable to your region. Here are some mounting hardware. And here I have the camera. Before I get into the features, I have already built a new birdhouse with this camera inside and I'll be sharing with you on how I built it within the next week or two. Recently, I had some visitors to the birdhouse and I can't wait for them to start raising their family inside. Now, because Ding's Workshop is a designated channel for DIY and woodworking, I started a new channel called Ding's Nature Channel and that is where I'll be posting videos about the new bird family. So definitely go check it out. Okay, now let's talk about the features of the Green Feathers third generation Wi-Fi bird box camera. The camera records 1080p at 20 frames per second. Now there is also a built-in microphone to capture the sound. The operating temperature of this camera is minus 20 degrees C to 50 degrees C or minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit to 122 Fahrenheit. Really suitable for majority of the regions that you will be recording. The camera is also equipped with four infrared LEDs that provides up to one meter of night vision range. Now this camera is a Wi-Fi camera and connects to the internet using 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. And once connected to the internet, you will be able to communicate and control the camera on your smartphone. And it's fully compatible with Apple and Android devices. And as you can see, all of these features are packaged in this compact metallic enclosure. Now, one thing to note is that this camera is not waterproof. So you do want to make sure it stays dry. However, even though the camera itself is not waterproof, Green Feathers did a great job to ensure the exterior power connectors has sufficient shielding and protection to keep the connections dry. Now, in terms of storage, this camera does require a micro SD card in order to record locally. The camera is able to support micro SD card up to 128 gigabytes. And the camera supports both continuous recording and motion detection recording. I also received this LED daylight to help illuminating the inside of the birdhouse. This daylight LED has a photo sensor built in so that it turns off when the outside is dark. And here you can see the difference with and without the daylight LED. First, go to the App Store and download the Green Feathers app. Once you open up the app, it will ask you to register for an account. You can also log in using your Apple, Facebook, or Google account. Once you're in the app, you can tap the plus sign on the upper right corner to add your camera. The camera has a QR code sticker, which you can use to pair it up with your app. Just follow the steps from the app to set up your camera. It will then ask you to connect the camera to your 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. And then it's done. As simple as that. So far, I am very pleased with the third generation Wi-Fi Bird Box camera. It is feature packed, easy to set up, and simply brings more fun to my birdhouse. Now, if you are interested in purchasing the Green Feathers camera, I'm going to leave a coupon code in the description. So be sure to use that on your purchase. Hey, thanks for watching today's video. Stay tuned for the birdhouse build at Ding's Workshop and more birdhouse footage at Ding's Nature Channel. I'm Ding from Ding's Workshop and from Ding's Nature Channel. See you next time.